Alright guys, the first quad in this matchup is a 2007 Polaris Predator. It's got a 560cc big bore kit, 12.5 to 1 piston, it's ported by Michael Sabo, plus 7 degree timing, lightweight flywheel, 39mm FCR carb, airbox delete, full DMC exhaust, it runs on 110 fuel and has an estimated dry weight of 390 pounds. The second quad in this matchup is a 1990 Yamaha Banshee. It's a 421cc big bore with a 4mm stroker, assassin cylinders by driveline performance, plus 4 degree timing, 35mm PWK carbs, V-Force 4 reeds, SLP exhaust, lockup clutch, and it runs on 93 premix fuel with a dry weight of around 405 pounds. It'll be interesting to see how this pans out as both machines have drastically different power. We'll be racing on a 100-yard grass-covered course. There will be four total races, two with each rider on each machine. Comment below which quad you think will be the fastest. Alright, let's get it! I'm gonna be on the Predator for the first runs. Dude, John totally red lighted. <laughs> dude. I couldn't stop it. It wanted to go right off the trail. Oh my god, dude. Bro, you red lighted so bad. Uh, it drifted on me a little bit, but I didn't really pull out until he You were roosting the shit out of me, too. Did I? Oh, yeah. Dude, and I went off a little bit, and I was like, oh my god, man. Dude, it's like uncontrollable, bro. All right, let's go. Let's all run right. it back. Yep, yep. I'll tell you what, man. We've been running these things all day. A whole bunch of different quads. And it's hot out. I'm getting tired, man. These squads, both these squads are, they're fast though, I'll tell you what. Alright, let's see if I can get a controlled launch this time. Ah! Oh my god, this thing just powered right through it. That Banshee's fast, man. That was a good race. Yeah, bro, this thing is a powerhouse, dude. Like, this thing is insane. Yeah, I had a good launch and everything. I was behind you, but dude, you were just, you probably had me by like six lengths. Oh my god. I'll say six lengths. Yeah, this thing is a beast, bro. Yeah, that was straight beast. That was legit. You're heavier than me too, bro. My good deal, 70 pounds. Yeah, holy crap, dude. Wanna run back, we'll switch real quick? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's <laughs> get it, bro. I'll tell you this much though, this quad is way easier to shift. That Banshee with that lockup, I, I struggle to shift that thing. This thing is like butter. You can power shift it all day. So the clutch is getting hot and the plates are expanding, and that's when this clutch wants to grab. So you can't, I can't give it gas at the line for the second gear launch because it wants it's pulling. You, even with the clutch all the way in, it's grabbing. So this is too hot to do a second gear launch. The plates have expanded. You know, the like clutch yeah. gets hot, plates yep. expand. I can't give it, almost, I can't even give it like an eighth throttle in second gear and it wants to walk. So I couldn't rev it up to dump it in second. I bogged like crazy. So I'll, I'll just do a first gear launch. Okay. <laughs> All right, I think I figured it out. You, you can't power shift this thing. You gotta come off the throttle. Dude, that thing roots so bad. I told you. I can't touch it though. Let's try one more. I think if I launch a little better, I might be able to just stay with you a little more. All right, dude, All right. I found, you can't, I can't power shift this. Gotcha. It doesn't want to, it just doesn't want to do it. When I, I let off every time, yep. and it shifted nice and- It works better around it. Yeah. Yep, yep. So I, I'm sure that there's some something that could probably be adjusted on this or taking out this hydraulic clutch, I don't know. 
you guys let me know in the comment section below if there's a way to fix that. It does not want a power shift. Shift, man. Dude, I could not shift. I was gonna say, there's no way that I hung with you. Dude, I, I, I was in, I shifted into third three times. Oh my god. <laughs> I dude. think the clutch is way too hot. Yeah. And it's expanding or something, but no doubt, this is definitely faster. Powerhouse, bro. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to another video. We don't do intros here. That's what every other YouTuber does. Yeah. Good, good content again. We're about dead. Yeah, guys, it's it's <laughs> really stinking hot out here. We've been out here all day making videos. We've been out of water for like four hours already. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the dehydration kicking in right now. But yeah. I'll tell you what, dude. Without a doubt, the Banshee is definitely way more powerful. Easily. We just had some trouble. We're having trouble shifting it. I think the hydraulic clutch setup uh, is just not optimal, especially not for drag racing. Trail racing, it seems to feel pretty good. But yep. Not in this scenario. Uh, the one shot that I got where I was shifting, I was able to shift it really well. I feel like I just swept you smoked it. this thing like you couldn't yeah. even touch it. And then the hotter those clutch plates get, they expand, and, and it was and, and the fluid. It's a hydraulic clutch, so the fluid in the line, yep. if that heats up at all, it becomes squishier, and that way it doesn't want to make the pull. Right. So that just that whole thing there really made launching and shifting kind of difficult. Absolutely. And I'm sure there's some way to make that work right. I'm not I'm not saying that there's a you know there's no way to make that work right. But the way that it sat, that was the biggest issue with the Banshee. It was I, I feel like it was launching pretty good too. Oh dude, the thing was animalistic. Yeah, super fun to ride. Still I think the Predator I mean that's a good beast too. You want to have its own, bro. Yeah, it's fun quads to ride. Legit. Dude. Yeah, so we appreciate you guys. Let us know in the comment section below what other stack ups you want to see. Yep. Quads you want to see head to head if you want to go up against dirt bikes, what kind of competitions you want to see, if you like drag racing, top speed. John and I are trying to do as much as we can. If you guys haven't already, definitely subscribe to John. Stupid Fast John is his channel. He's just about to hit 10,000 subscribers. He might even be there by the time we make this video, I'm trying to blow him up and uh, trying to blow this page up too. I want to hit 100,000 subscribers. So right, we Let's really appreciate all the comments and everything and all the support that we've been getting over the years, you know, enabling John and I to be able to do this because I mean, we, we're living the life out here, having a great time. So Yeah, without, without you guys, we can't do it. Right, so. Exactly. We can't do it without you guys. Really appreciate it. So make sure to leave a comment in uh, the comment section below. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Peace. One, two, three. We're here at this GNCC racetrack. I'm here with Stupid Fast John, Serious Racer. John, what are your predictions for today? Uh, rape train status. Gonna bring it on, bro. Let's go. Do you really think they're that close? What was your time? Oh! Raptor 660 blew up. The Raptor 660 blew up. Does that mean that the Predator won? No. So this is not an incredibly steep hill climb, and it's not incredibly long either, but it's really rocky. It's filled with shit like this. Well, wait, what did I get? Oh my god, dude! Here we are at the legendary drag strip where I beat John on the 400 EX. Ooh. After seeing John's awesome performance, what do you think is going to happen next? Uh, probably do it in about. Yeah, that doesn't matter because you're slow. Yeah, he red lighted. That was the best one yet. Do you think he can beat the 250R? That's a good question, Mike.